Hey guys, episode 5 of the ISA series. Uh, if you haven't seen uh, the first couple sort of detailing uh, all of my positions, uh, check those out. And uh, yeah, so we're flat for the week. Um, sort of rose earlier in the week on the higher gold price and then that's come down towards the end of the week. And a uh, bit of a rough time for um individual stocks so yeah took a bit of a, a hit on those towards the end of the week uh sort of gold stocks still going up and i'm selling them down and buying other stocks that are still going down so i always feel a bit a bit silly doing it but it's all part of the averaging down process uh, i still think that is the best way um yeah so uh, barrett gold's fairly Fairly flat for the week, I believe. Uh, British Tobacco um, sort of took a, a real hit at the end of the week, um, but still making profit. Um, so probably going to be... I'm going to be looking to probably add a thousand pound to the account and probably sell another thousand of... Um, I expect the ETF the gold ETF in here to give me 2000 to sort of average down on some of these hit stocks. Uh, so British Tobacco will probably be one of those. Uh, BT would be the second one, uh, taking another hit uh, around about a pound now. Um, still, again, still making money. Um, they do have a, a potential uh, rival, I understand, in City Fibre. Um, sort of doing a lot of work around, around the country and uh, putting their own fibre network in uh, to the property rather than to exchanges. Uh, so that's a potential rival. But I think with the sort of phone and BT Sport um, market, they sort of offer more of a package. Uh, so I think they should be okay. And they still sort of rent out their network to sort of sky and talk talk and people like that so probably add another 250 to that um evraz not really done too much gone down a little uh this week just below what i'd paid uh but keep that um probably i'm not looking to sort of hold that longer term i would want to get into rio tinto and uh, bhp um, first majestic silver come down sort of a little bit towards the end of the week um yeah so sort it of tends to move generally with the market because of the industrial demand um if the the main market is down um and if they're not if the main market is sort of not doing too much but the gold price goes up then silver price generally rockets up even more um, but yeah, the uh, gold has sort of been somewhat flat this month, uh, this week. Uh, so yeah, the silver sort of took a bit of a hit towards the end of the week. Uh, G4S still seems pretty good. Um, didn't come down too much in the sort of end of the week sell-offs. Uh, so I'm not going to add to it. 27% uh, up on that, so I'll just leave that where it is. IAG took a real hit, uh, British Airways, I think sort of more uh, American uh, virus news and European virus news, sort of some lockdowns and just think they're sort of burning through cash. Uh, I think they're looking to issue new shares, so it'd be dilution and that's sort of partly why the price has come down. Um, yeah, so come down quite a way I'm on the fence about whether to put any more into this uh, with my money next week but probably have a think and do a bit more research uh, Imperial Brands same as uh, British Tobacco really still making a profit and uh, they've come down this week so probably put a little bit more money into that I think it's just um, investors going away from tobacco stocks uh, but yeah, can't see them coming down that long if they're still making a profit. Uh, so iShares 
S and P gold producers um, down slightly this uh, this week, but uh, expect that to sort of come back this coming week. Um, gold price just sort of fluctuating around all time highs now, um, but I think that will start to sort of push on. Just people taking profit really. Uh, Kia Group. Um, really not sure about this one. Uh, do believe in them sort of as a, a longer term company with their order book. Um, but they have got a lot of debt. Um, a small sort of potential they could go bust. Um, but may sort of add to this in the next month, in the next week maybe. Uh, New River Re, uh, fairly fairly flat. Um, Probably still lockdowns affecting them. Uh, if I just keep that. Polymetal still doing quite well. Um, just sort of following gold price. Probably be similar really to the ETF in uh, performance. Uh, Rolls-Royce, another battered down one this week. Um, again, sort of uh, small potential they could be uh, in trouble, may need a bailout or, uh, you know, could potentially go bust. But uh, depends on sort of whether the airlines can pick up. Uh, seeing sort of people saying they may even lag behind the airline companies, uh, sort of holiday companies and EasyJet and people like that because uh, they won't actually be ordering any new planes even when they start up. So Rolls-Royce would really need the defence side of things to sort of yeah hold them up really uh, so it's in a big drop this week um, I'll have a have a read around I may put uh, another 250 into them uh, Shell is one I think I definitely will add to uh, come down this week um, can't really see. I mean, they've put out their earnings and they've done a lot of write downs, so technically lost, uh, I think, sort of 19 billion pounds. Um, but it's sort of write downs, it's not actually loss in cash. Uh, they actually made a profit uh, where they were expected to make a small loss. Um, so I think this is low price, pretty good dividend, and longer term they're going to be getting into renewables. And uh, they're now an energy supplier, sort of taking on the big six in the UK, British Gas and Eon and people like that. Uh, a little bit strange sort of being a, a smaller supplier in that space, but bigger in market cap than all of them. Uh, so, yeah, that should provide them some, some income going forward. Uh, Saga, just going to leave again, sort of. Hasn't really done a lot, waiting on reopening really the cruise lines and the holiday companies. So wouldn't be putting any more into that. Uh, Silvana Platinum, doing okay. Still a small company, um, but the platinum price is sort of not really rising quite as much as gold and silver. Um, but as I said last time, they, they seem to be making money at today's price, so wouldn't have thought it's going to come down anymore, so they should only get better. Uh, and Taylor Wimpy, uh, new position. Um, yeah, sort of fairly good balance sheet. Um, but this week sort of took a really, really big knock. Uh, so I decided to get into them. I'm also looking at Barrett Homes. Uh, I think Barrett Homes are slightly better uh, balance sheet, but... It's sort of the price is reflecting that, and I thought this seems a bit oversold. Uh, they've been issuing new shares and buying land with it, uh, so the share price has been coming down, probably partly because of dilution. Uh, but they've now got the land assets to sort of build houses in the future. Uh, so see them as pretty good. May put a little bit more into them in the coming week. Uh, yeah, so that is the position. Uh, still 24,000 on this one. Uh, and then over to Hargreaves Lansdowne. Um, yeah, fairly flat for the week. Um, I've been told uh, this is probably going to be another month 
to move to iWeb, uh, so you still can't sell or buy anything in this. Uh, a little bit frustrating, but uh, as long as it's still going up, uh, I wouldn't be sort of looking to sell too much out of this. Uh, that will that portfolio will be more for longer term purchases because uh, there is a, a trading commission fee uh, five pounds every time you make a transaction so yeah it would be more for longer term buys uh, yeah and that is uh, that is the portfolio so 92,000 uh, all in all flat for the week uh, but can see some sort of potential over the next few weeks um general stocks may sort of continue to slide a bit um and i'll be hopefully averaging down and selling out of the uh the goal positions and yeah hopefully sort of once it's getting towards a bottom uh i won't be in too much negative and then hopefully can ride a long bull market uh yeah so that's the video for this week um like and subscribe if you're uh if you want to stay updated and uh, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Cheers. Bye.